Okay. Good morning. Welcome back. Race flight 380 in less than 20 minutes. Okay, my props still attached and I'm going to go ahead and start my program. Well, I do that. Take the props off. Please always take your props off. Uh, is that doing anything? Did I double click the thing? Okay. Oh, it was already open. There you go. All right, so that's 374.2. That's not what I want. I want 375. There you go. And the reason that it wouldn't open, it's because 374 was open before from last night. I was gonna shoot this last night, um, and I was really tired, and I decided to go to bed. And that was really not such a good idea because I didn't sleep well at all. So, anyways, enough of the excuses. I have been on for about two minutes or so. I'm going to start the timer on my phone right here. Okay, and go. All right, so what am I doing? I am doing race flight 380 in less than, I'm guessing 20 minutes, hopefully. I took my props off, okay. Please always take your props off for your own safety. And there are some prerequisites to this. One is going to be having your software already installed. You're gonna need a configurator 375.2 and you're going to also need race flight 380. Okay, boom. Immediately it's telling me that it needs to be updated and it's ready to go and update firmware. Okay, load firmware file. So I already have it. I have it on 375.80. You see there's 380. Open. Boom. Okay, now it's erasing and flashing. And this is when I have my nice little cup of coffee. Um, so what? what is the cheater? What I, I guess you can say this is a cheater sheet. You need to have your VTX already set up. You know, obviously your receiver is already bound. Um, and also you're going to have probably maybe two auxiliary channels or maybe three auxiliary channels. I'm using three because I'm using one just for the beeper. Um, and this is my very old and trusty chameleon, so it's, she's already done, or almost done. This is that quick. We've been two minutes in so far. And this makes me kind of nervous always, because you don't know if it's going to flash or not, or what's going on, but I never had a problem. Success. Done. I'm done. Okay. Ooh, let's go. Okay. Immediately loads up this welcome looks like your board has never been set up So that's actually pretty awesome because this is the first time we're doing 380 continue So choose your receiver since I'm running Tyrannus I'm gonna go ahead and turn my radio on Welcome to OpenTX And I already have my chameleon already there uh, as a model so let's go and click next Okay, I don't need to watch the video because I already done that. I do suggest you watch it and then you can figure out what the Tyrannus thing is all about. But I, this is more of a overall how fast can I get it through it. Uh, this is none of the VTXs that I'm running. So this is just to help you map everything else. I'm going to go with other. Next. 
and do you want to run reverse props so reverse props is so you don't get stuff inside your camera but then you're gonna get stuff inside of your body um, obviously I don't want to run reverse props and it says done okay now we're gonna go ahead Okay, that's my receiver that needs to be updated. Nothing to do with race flight. And it's gonna be doing that for a long time, so bear with me with that, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set up the flight controller. And which, which, um, how do you wanna use the quad mostly? Racing or freestyle? This is my freestyle rig. Lost. Next. Okay, do you want smooth sticks? This is so it will enable ESC smoothing, I believe. I click yes. Select your quad size, I'm on five inch. Next. Okay, set your quad on a flat surface. It's already flat next and this is where some people have um, complained before that it took a long time we're gonna figure out right now okay next sensor lost okay orientation success that wasn't that long that wasn't that short it was shorter before definitely but it's nothing to do anything wrong okay so everything is good so now we're gonna go ahead and do number two which is the tech receiver okay prepare your radio radio's already on okay next should pick it up right away around seven or so Okay. Sensor lost. Thank you. Alrighty, so the receiver was detected, so now we're gonna go to set up radio. And I'm gonna have here, click next. Alrighty, so it says move the sticks in complete circles. Okay. You can do it as many times as you want to, it's just so the radio knows what the ends are. Once you're done with it, then you can go ahead and remember throttle at idle at the end is at bottom. Next, throttle top, yaw to the right, then pitch up, then roll, and then it's gonna ask me for the disarm. This is where your switches are. Okay, this is my disarm. Click next, and then it's going to go to arm, click next, the quad is now arm, which is a really good sign, that means that all my switches are working, and then I'm going to go ahead and obviously unarm it, and I'm done. Okay, so the arm switch was done automatically, you can see it move right now, okay an arm there you go okay now that I'm in this screen okay now that I'm in this screen I can actually go real quickly and see I have level acro fail safe buzzer LED mode direct channel brain drain Quopa which is turn me around and learn and beep I'm just gonna add beeper at 7 for now okay there's my beeper and I want it at the bottom come on okay click save okay there's my off position, middle, and on for the beeper. Uh oh. Mm. 
Mm, interesting. Oh, maybe it's not mapped. Okay, I'm gonna have to put it in the middle then. Fine, you get to go in the middle. Alrighty, well. We'll check it in a bit. Interestingly enough, you know, I want to unplug, unplug, and see what's going on. Telemetry lost. Okay, that's good signs. Telemetry recovered. Okay. Set up. Okay. That's good. Yes, I know everybody needs me. Okay, so I'm gonna go and check out my cheater sheet because I took pictures of my buttons and stuff before. Let's see. delete that this is beep channel okay guys <laughs> uh, this is a loss of like a minute uh, where are you there it is you see buzzer is what we, were, what we wanted to put on and buzzer always has gone this way. You see? I think my computer is freaking out. Okay, there you go. Alright, that's what we want. Hit save. Okay, so I got my buzzer on. I got my arm on so far okay that's all that we really need right now then we're gonna go ahead and continue to update ESCs so for that we're gonna need to put a battery on okay yes I know you two want to talk to me all right here we go let's click on of the ESCs, okay, it says so remove your props okay, I have removed my props and connected the battery so let's connect the battery obviously your arm position at zero, please okay that's already good I have done that and click next okay so this is do not unpower um, okay, because they were already kind of like updated. I don't think we're gonna have any new updates on mine And that's just doing the pass-through right now reading settings and They do sound a little bit different now Tones are done And that's the report Oh, that looks pretty normal to me Timing is medium. You can always go timing high if you're having a little bit of, you know, vibration. Alrighty then, so that's succeeded. So it's done. Okay, so we've done the update on the ESCs. Then we're gonna go ahead and calibrate motors. 
Okay, it says I have removed the props and disconnected the battery. So disconnect the battery. Remove props it's already, it's a given. Go. Okay, plug in the battery and that's the normal stuff for calibration. Okay. Okay. Alrighty, so that is pretty much done, guys. All that we gotta do is um, check out the idle. And I have removed the props and connected the battery. Battery is still connected. Next. And then we're gonna go ahead and spin number one. Correct. 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 Yep, everything is right. Okay. Alright, so it's asking me which one's spinning in which direction. Okay, so that's front, left. Okay, then you're gonna go ahead and hit next. Then it's asking you which one's spinning now. This is kind of like the foolproof way of showing you which direction you need to go. Okay, inwards. And the last one should be automatically grabbed by it. Okay, perfect. Choose your ESCs. And this is interesting. Race flight is actually asking you if you're running BL32 or other so because I'm run not this is now BL Heli 32 this is BL Heli S that is done okay and that's the final proof I believe Okay, and we are in 15 minutes and 48. Okay, yes, 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 yes. Oh, everything is good. We are done. Okay. At this point, what I'd like to do is shut it off. Unplug it. Telemetry lost. It has stuck PIDs, stuck everything. Plug it back in. Telemetry recovered. And see if it arms. This is a double pumper. There it is. There's a little bit of noise right there in this thing. I can tell you that already, but it's pretty good we're gonna see how it flies that's 1646 stop I just need to load my PIDs but that just showed you that I did race flight 380 in less than 16 minutes so what did I have to do uh, I'm gonna unplug real quick and I'm gonna plug back in so I had to have the VTX already set up my receiver already bound and I had to have um, at least a minimum of two channels so two axes already mapped and then everything else I kind of already had going on for it because it was just a redo so thanks for watching you guys I think that I'm just going to load my PIDs Um, and that we can actually continue if you guys want to check it out. Um, so I already kind of had like an idea of how this was running before. Let's take a look. Okay, mm before it was 47, 43, 49. RC smoothing. We're gonna go ahead and yes, please. 
66 is too high. We're going to go ahead and drop it to like 56. CG adjustment. We'll take a look at uh, roll 38, 36, 34. Forty three, thirty eight, twenty five. All those are pretty stock, you guys. Um, let's see, this is what we're gonna change a little bit to. Um, see, so filters. Okay. Pitch wrap in Omega Yaw is now something called differently. Like this stuff right here at the bottom used to be called Omega. Now it's Yaw R, R A P wrap. Nah, these are pretty normal. Okay, well. Uh, all this K stuff, I never really touched it. So let's save into the quad now. Oh, look at that. It did it at 56.000.000.001. That's funny. Alright. Shop. Okay, and now it's running 380. 140 beta at 375 all right you guys that's pretty much it nothing else to do but to put props back in this thing telemetry lost and go take a flight and then i'm probably gonna record the flight so you can see it this afternoon because the morning is pretty nice and i'm um, gonna gotta fly what i can this week because it's gonna be family week and you know all that drama uh, all right well have a great day thanks for watching and that's about race flight in less than 20 minutes an activity alarm Woohoo! let's go fly thank you see you soon thanks for watching Boop. should I go watch Hoobie's garage and should I charge what should I do Hmm, what will hoobies do? Hmm, get another hoopty? Should I build another hoopty? Oh, I gotta fix. Oh, by the way, we have to talk about I broke a bunch of stuff this weekend. Um, till next time.